Okay, today I'm going to be demonstrating out how to cut um, a female office trouser, a straight female trouser, like someone with enormous hip. And I'm going to tell you how to get that hip area out. Okay, I'm not really using these fabrics to cut a female trouser. Someone requests for this, so uh, I have to help the person out. And I also think that it's going to be useful around here. All right, so. Uh, to go straight into the lecture, I'm going to summarize how you can, you know, get a, a female hip. You know, you want to sew fitted trouser for those women that have enormous hip. Okay, so I'm going to create a measurement. For example, I just want to sew a trouser for an average person of uh, 40. Okay. To cut the trouser right now for someone with hip 40, okay. Imagine the person has a shape of 32 or 30. That's a very slim person though, but the person have a hip. So now this is what you do. We have two inches here. Okay. If the, 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 the more bigger the person hip is, you increase this measurement. Okay. So let's assume now we have one inches here for someone of that hip 40 and then they have shape of 32. So around here, you're going to mark one and a half inches all right so you have the one and a half inches here if the trouser actually have a band a waistband you're going to extend one inches your tape one inches you're going to extend it out right but if the trouser is bandless you have to shift your tape in and extend half inches of the fabric out okay so in this case now let's just assume that there is a band on it then we extend one inches out then you place the whole tape all right so let's just say the person measurement is 40 all right since it's a straight row that the person measurement is 40 then you mark that 40 okay every human being you see standing straight like a normal body size okay this 20 here is half of the person's lower body from the waist itself not from tummy from waist 20 would be the um half of the lower body okay so you know you're gonna want the trouser to like maybe really drop then that's why you bring the stuff here to 40 right so what we're going to do now we're going to shift back here the knee is above that 20 all right that is 19 let's call this place the person's knee so now that you have marked this um one and a half here you bring the tape down here again and mark the same one and a half all right so we're going to want this trouser to be like a pencil trouser fitted trouser because the person is straight they have the right structure so down here instead of making it one and a half we're going to make it two inches okay because the trouser is supposed to be coming like this all right so as it's coming down, it's getting narrow. Then, but if it's a male trouser, since here is one and a half or one inches, here also is going to be one inches because the male trouser is not, you know, going to be that pencil by the side. It's actually have to go straight. That's what they call it an English trouser. So right here at the hip, this here will be the hip. Okay. For someone of 40 length, we're going to place our tape here and let's put her hip around nine and a half okay for ladies trouser that same nine and a half is the crotch line okay a lot of people ask questions like how do i get crotch measurements how do i get crotch measurements for a few a female trouser have to be tight all right you know i don't know how to explain this because if ladies don't actually have you know in between the legs sorry it's actually have to be tight so that you know the way it goes around the legs they can move freely but for men it's not like that a man throws her on they have to be free in case he need to open his leg wide so he can do that but for a lady it just have to be normal so this nine inches now is the hip measurement at the same time it's going to be the crotch line in case you want to do something like this you can follow the pattern if you don't know any other pattern okay so right now this hip here you try to 
identify from hip here you see you don't you, you this is the hip line this is how you come straight with your chalk from here you go straight then from here also you're coming back just as if like you're cutting a skirt okay you can see the hip is getting is becoming okay right now okay so if you cannot draw this line downward straight it's not a problem you can place a ruler here and take it back okay this is a female straight trouser the side that we are defining right now okay so this is the length and you have folding allowance okay so if you want to cut a palazzo trouser you're still going to use this the same pattern but this one and a half inches you make sure you have to shift it inside because if the palazzo trouser side here and here this particular one need to you know extend out to this place then same thing here you can take from here out as the palazzo trouser but since this is just a straight, straight trouser someone requested for that i'm actually helping the person with so i'm going to do exactly what i promised the person so now that you have gotten that you you know the hip measurement is 40 right so if the trouser have a pocket if you're going to put pocket on the trouser the, the front side have to be smaller okay but if you're not going to put a trouser you can decide to make the front and back the same with your measurement or i would still prefer you to make the front a little bit smaller than the back that's how a professional trouser will be if you pick up a an already made trouser you already have now you find out that most of these trousers are like that okay like your real size are like that the front side are smaller than the back side so since we have 40 and we're going to make this front side smaller i'm going to mark 10 okay that 10 times 2 will be 20 times 2 again 20 times 2 again will be 40 right but you have to put this front right now at 10 why because you're going to have sewing allowance and all of that you know as a professional trust that you're gonna need like one inch sewing allowance so we put it at 10 okay by the time we then this crotch area here right now you see you have the heat there all right so you come down to the lap you know ladies they have um even um more bigger lap than most men so you can find out someone of hip 40s using almost sometimes lap 30 and the trouser is still tight lap uh 28 you don't find men like that okay so here you go i'm gonna put this right now this is 26 right for only the front the lap of the front alone then you mark this place okay this this is the under crotch area here and you shift down a little bit like maybe three inches is where the lap will be located which is 26 right here now then you take the line up there okay so right here at the new area okay this place is supposed to be the new but you're gonna shift your tape downward here so whatever you have 18 or anything any measurements you have for the new then you draw it and then whatever you want the whiteness of the trouser to be for example the trouser is kind of a slacking material you can make it six then if you make it six from here to here now is six then you take it straight back and then this is the full length and you have the allowance for folding it in right here okay so now the waist we say so we got 32 so right here we still have 32 plus you know the sewing allowance and all of that okay you know this 32 that i have here right now i'm marking 32 i'm marking the normal measurement on the front why because the back is going to be wider than the front by two inches okay so now from here this is where you got your hip measurement which is 10 all right you got hip measurement which is 10 from here then you take the line of street okay you see the basics right now okay this is the hip right here we have above the new and let's put the new here okay this is half of the body the person's body all right the measurement of any human being you see you know the waist is half of the full body okay the waist part of human being is half of full body then the 
from the waist there downward, the meal is half of the lower part of the body. So that's the way it is. So right now that you've got this, this line coming down straight here and then with this sharp angle here is just the basics for you to understand um, how to get the curve on the crotch, okay? So if I want to cut this now without all this pattern drafting, I can just simply do it, but I just want to show how these things work. So from here, from this center part here, you take your chalk and when you get, you know, one inches lower, you curve your hand out. Okay. And this is it. Very simple. Okay. So if the person you're sewing the trouser for has tummy, you know, someone of 32 doesn't have big tummy. That's a flat tummy person. All right. So you're going to leave here straight because probably they might want to draw it to wherever they want it to be in order for this place to be very tight. Okay. So now all these things that we have cut now, we have little allowance on the inside. If you want to sew a professional trouser and you want it to balance after you finish sewing it and straight, you don't add enormous allowance. Trust me, if you put too much allowance on things, they don't balance. You need to trust your measurement and trust that it's going to work for you. You have already get what your measurement is. Know where you're supposed to put the allowance and, you know, you put little allowance and do your sewing. But in case you want to put enough allowance, do not add much allowance around here. No, it's just half inches. You can you know take your risk of adding your allowance around here if you don't trust um yourself in terms of measurement then like i say i come back to this upper part right now if the person have a big tummy like you're sewing for a big person you know you have to slant this place and cut here out okay so that the by the time you finish sewing the front the front will go around the person tummy instead of being on top of the tummy it will go around the tummy then as you bring this place downward when you're cutting the back, you're going to take the back up higher than here, which means the back will be going up. All right. So now, since the person is has a, has a flat tummy, you're going to leave this upper side flat like this. And just like this now, this whole trouser drafting is ready. Okay, you see that now. This one is not part of it. This is just... Um, the allowance i was asking you to put so this is just how it is this is the full trouser right now now this crotch right here now okay by the time you finish sewing an average young lady trouser like that the crotch area should not be more than 10 okay but if you're sewing for a man of that same measurement it have to go to 14 because a man need a space to you know drop there you know you understand what i'm saying drop it there as a man we need a space to drop to open our leg for you know but ladies they don't need stuff like that they want things to be tight when they really want it to be tight at the upper side except they are sewing a free trouser so from here to here should not be more than 10 by the time we finish sewing the stuff and if you see it right now you see this way it ends it ends here which is you know 10 inches and we have allowance here the stuff end here as 10 inches and we have allowance here so if you want if you finish cutting this whole front right now okay if you finish cutting this whole front this is the leftover material okay and you can see now here is wider than this place so what you're going to do this hip area that is wide you're going to turn the material the other way around and make sure this smaller part this hip area is coming here while this small part now is coming down here so when you finish doing that you're going to cut the back you're going to use here to cut the back side but when you get to the crotch area you're not going to shift the back one in like this the back one is going to come straight like this okay this is how the back go all right so if the person have a very big butt you you know still shift it in a little bit but the back is going to be wider so when you finish cutting using it to cut the this side to cut the back you're going to shift the front a little bit and add two inches by the side of the back okay the back is going to be bigger than the front by two inches but the the back and the front body is going to be the same measurement all through except here is going to change